Records and the CIA infiltrated, the 1980s hip hop scene was one of the CIA's most successful experiments of propaganda to date. One of the most successful experiments of propaganda to date. And I bet you they even feel more proud of this than COINTELPRO. So what they're claiming right here is not just a section of what they did with gangster rap, but all rap is theirs. And over the 30 to 35 years you've been fucking with it, is considered the most successful propaganda that the CIA has undertaken. And them niggas was flying drugs in from fucking Nori Panama and, and, and all of that shit and supplied that and they consider rap more successful in the terms of propaganda and what it does to the fucking minds of the youth. Shaka Khan. You could say, the CIA agent in quotation said, you could say Frankenstein's monster got up. Woo! I'm going to say that again. You could say Frankenstein's monster got up off the table and started goose-stepping. Woo! <laughs> the retired CIA agent who was granted a Russian residence per permit in 2011 also claimed Lior Cohen. Oh! Commonly known as the tall Israeli who runs oh. hip-hop oh. as a CIA asset. What? Yes. Shaka Khan! Say that again, Shaka Shaka Khan! The retired CIA agent who was granted a Russian residence wow. permit in 2011 also claimed Lior Cohen, commonly known as the tall Israeli who runs hip-hop, is a CIA agent. The culture vulture himself hmm. is a CIA asset. I've seen him shit on niggas directly to their face and they say thank you personally. The first time I seen him, I uh, I was we did a record. Marley Mar had in control. It was after Mama said knock you out. He had a Def Jam deal and did Marley Mar in control. Bez in the United States. What connect these two industries together? Vanguard and BlackRock, which are the largest shareholders in both media and prisons. Last year, Corrections Corporation of America, CCA, the biggest name in the private prison industry, contacted 48 states offering to buy their prisons. One stipulation of eligibility for the deal was particularly bizarre, an assurance by the agency partner that their agency has sufficient inmate population to maintain a minimum of 90% occupancy rate over the term of the contract. In other words, if they want the contract, or the money, they must keep their prisons filled to a percentage of 90%. This is the main reason why record labels were signed against the drill rapper over a conscious artist because its relations with private prisons. It's big profit in keeping blacks and Hispanics in jail. You probably didn't know most private prisons are owned by the same people who are the majority shareholders of the three major record labels. We are living in America, era of mass incarceration. With 5% of the world's population, this nation holds 25% of the world's prisoners. We are living in America era of mass incarceration. With just 5% of the world's population, the nation holds 25% of the world's prisoners. And many more people impacted by its crime policies. More than 21 million Americans are incarcerated in jails and prisons, up from less than 200,000 in 1972 while over 4.6 million more are on probation or parole. These